What is going on YouTube? This is John from Emphatic and I am bringing to you the latest Arrange War recap against Clantanamo Bay. Um, as you see Emphatic picked up with a 85 to 84 victory with a little bit higher percentage. So uh, good game to Clantanamo. Uh, I, before we get too far into this video I am feel like I am coming down with something. My voice is pretty sore. So um, <coughs> Hopefully I can talk all the way through this. We shall see. But here we go. Uh, we had a four... Eight. And then Phil breakdown. 30 vs. 30 war. And uh, the story of this war came down to... They left... Myself and Exodus standing off of dips. There you see there we had uh, number four. Only get 87... And, uh, number one, get 95 on me. So, uh, that's, that's the tale of the tape here. Um, we, uh, left only one of their 10s up. Both sides had an 11 go all the way to the bitter end, myself and, uh, Dallas. Uh, and it, they ended up calling for 11 versus 11 attacks. Granted, I think they had one bottom 12 left, or bottom 10 left over. Uh, to hit me, and he only got a single star, 30%, so the 11 had to clean up. Uh, as you see here, I got 76 on him. He got 77 on me, so he beat me. That sucks. Uh, but he also had a scout I didn't, so, you know. They know the CC. Uh, granted, I should probably start rocking some baby dragons in mine. They seem to do a pretty good job against a mass minor attempt. But uh, that's the problem when you uh, come up with these bases where... Honestly, I've, I would prefer it to be a couple 10 tries on me that finally get the 2-star. But uh, if you leave yourself so you don't get the 10 to 2-star on you, uh, you leave yourself wide open for 11 to try a triple attempt. And uh, eventually, playing with fire, I'm going to get burnt, I think, um, with an 11 versus 11 try. But uh, it's always fun to see if your base is feared. I, obviously, we feared Dallas's base, our 10s did, so we end up just leaving them, and I, I hit him fresh once I finally got time to partake in the war on the 11 side. We're going to start, though, with a 10 on 11 hit. As you see there, Sigurd, we don't get to see him much because he's busy doing this stuff, and I'm going to show you just his beast mode attack that he got. High percentage for a Town Hall 10. We're going to speed up his intro here. As you see, he's uh, just letting uh, Minion and a couple Archers do some work, get some free percentage, and actually start building the funnel. Because there's his Queen. Queen out of range, so he gets to wait a little bit on dropping the healers. <coughs> and Queen's going to walk all the way this entire compartment. There's not much on her. You know, The level 4 Expo is going to do a ton of work, but uh, really it was just an Archer Tower complimenting. And eventually the second one came down. So there we go. We got Golem and a couple Wizards up top to funnel. We got Wall Breakers coming in. Honestly, I was hoping that I got a chance to take a shot at this because I'd have done the same walk and done a Cold-Blooded Boner. But uh, there we go. Massive amount of work already done. 30%. There's no baby, dra baby drag or nothing like that going on. He's got a massive Valkyrie kill squad going in. Poisons are down. Freezes down on the Inferno. Rage is down. Just chewing into the base. Shreds the Town Hall with ease. Clan Castle goes against the Inferno. Baby Dragon is getting poisoned. It looks like it may barely survive the poison spell. Oh no, he just died while in it. Baby Valkyries are still running around. They're going to get two more buildings before they finally fizzle out. <coughs> and the Queen King are still standing, walking around the outside. This is a perfect base for a Town Hall. Uh, like, if you're scouting for a, a 11 vs. 11 attack, this would be the perfect scout because. The say the walk can be duplicated, the entry point can be duplicated, and the miners can basically come down where the queen's walking right now, and that's pretty much good game on this base. Uh, hell of a way to do it. Huge percent. You don't see these every day. Usually you're in the 50s or 60s, but Sig, this is why we got him hitting the 11s, and why you don't see too much of him on the recast, because he's doing this. So, good job to you, Sig. Definitely a huge credit to have. He ended up getting uh, four stars on Town Hall 11s this war, so very good, including their top guy. He got 57, so we're not going to show that. All right, so let's go find here. Let's go find the not dip. We will start here with Vac with one of the, cl the clutch attacks. 
uh, put us firm, or put us right in the driver's seat with this one, so we wouldn't have. So it was pretty certain we should win after this attack, <coughs> with the having the two dips remaining following him. But uh, this ended up being our last eleven on eleven triple here. As you see here, he's going into the shattered boner. Uh, Golem's down. Baby Dragon Wizard created a nice funnel, so he does not have to worry about much. Uh, in fact, those those bowlers have no reason to get distracted by that other compartment aside from that wizard tower. Baby Dragon's doing a lot of work here. It's going to withstand this uh, arch this uh, air defense. So miners are already coming in because the uh, clan kessels already been dealt with. Perfect timing on that. King Queen already threw. King pops the ability. Go at chase the queen, and they're going to take the queen down while friendly queen works on the first or er, inferno tower. Miners haven't even been healed yet. They're just sweeping through on the bottom. Could have a, a couple flanking wizards to to walk alongside there. Could be something he looks to plan in the future is having two or three extra wizards. Because those really do help whittle away these high HP build, cluster buildings here. Or, you know, storages, anything else that might be there. Queen's going to pop her ability, take care of the king. She should step up and get this, art, this air defense and possibly weaken up the uh, inferno. I don't think she's going to take it. But that Inferno is probably going to take one swing from the Miners to go down. So let's just speed it up because there's a ton of Miners still left. Two heals still in the bag. He's probably going to swag one. Uh, there we go. They eat a giant bomb. They're dealing with skeletons. He still drops one just to be safe. I, I mean, at this point in the war, you definitely don't want to swag to... Uh, or think you can swag and then not be able to. So, And I don't think Vax won for swagging anyway, so... Fits along with what he does. Let's see here. We got Batman. A fresh triple here. And these guys came out and started doing this attack to us first. And Batman and I reciprocated uh, after I did my first attack. I was the first 10 to go in the war. I think I was maybe the second or third attack to go. But uh, there we go. They drop a jump spell, golem, heroes, bowlers. Then they flank with miners. So their job is... He got the perfect CC for this too, by the way. Uh, their job is to take out the CC, take out the heroes, rage goes down for the bowlers, make a big crater so that the miners stay outside and flank down. And these guys came out and punched us right in the mouth with this with three fresh triples using this attack. Uh, definitely something to look at for the future for us, uh, especially for fresh attacks for our uh, squad that goes down and attacks the baby bases. Uh, definitely something to really look at. There you see there, this is a base that's really designed to landlock and... The king breaks out, so they're going to actually get out and move alongside it. They're not going to go and get the high-value expo right here. But this inferno is distracted, so these miners shouldn't have much issue taking out this inferno with the with the help of a heal. We got more miners sweeping in from 6 o'clock. King, queen, and a bowler are still standing on the uh, left-hand side of the base. And queen has not even used her ability yet, so once these miners finally work through the skeletons and these traps here... They will go and get the Inferno Tower and the Cannon. Let's just speed it up because actually it looks like the Miners are going to fizzle out. Yeah, the Miners do fizzle out, but that Inferno is not going to stop the Queen. She can go hit all the storages she wants. The Inferno is just going to do nothing. He had plenty of time left over on this, so it wasn't in doubt. He had at least 20, 30 seconds left with only one hut to go, even though he's got to work through three walls. So... Definitely was not much to worry about on time, and really effective raid. That's taken down an 89k as well, fresh. So, I got a 99% doing that on a base as well. So, definitely something very good to look at doing. So, let's see. Next, we got... Alright, so we had Alex uh, end up coming with something. He wasn't able to do his attack. So, this is actually AW coming up from Town Hall 9. To follow, uh, was it Brayden's plan originally? I think it was Brayden's plan originally. So you are going to see a Town Hall 9 come up and seem like he's been running a Town Hall 10 for months. So there we go. <coughs> Granted, we had, it's an elite Town Hall 9 that would be that's doing this. There's a jump spell down for the golems to enter the base. Queen, they small naked Queen walk got a huge amount of funneling done, so there's... Zero distractions. Some wizards are going, and they're probably not going to take down this barracks. But uh, one bowler decides he wants to walk as is par for the course. Poison rage down for the bowlers. Freezes the inferno. 
because uh, it's going to take a little bit for the queen to get back there. Not something you see every type of uh, go any type of gobo rage. But there you go. You see, he's got back end balloons coming in. This entry should take out three, maybe all four air defenses. So he's got a straight shot to go through and take everything. Freezes down on the Inferno and Tesla farm. I think that's what screwed up uh, Braden was the uh, Tesla farm. <coughs> got some hogs coming in. The hogs will take these tanked defenses that are shooting at the golem and go to get the air defense before these balloons even come close. So one shot comes off and then one black bomb takes another balloon. Springs take the, take the cannon out, but uh, not going to matter. This was just a gorgeous attack. Uh, we I think we had two tries on this one before AW came in and finished it off. So, really nice work. And in fact, I think AW went and got himself a 10 after this. Or he got a hold of one. So we'll be seeing a lot more of him on the Town Hall 10 range. Here's the other part of Batman's six-pack. This was the War of Batman. He did a lot for us this war. And actually, he's cleaning up my attack here. Uh, I, what I did is I came in for, with a naked queen walk here, but uh, you'll see what threw my rate off. I still got an 87% with basically CC miners. So, <coughs> there we go. The queen is funneled. She's going to start working up. He's got my wall breakers coming in to let them in. A couple archers that are going to be out of the range of everything. We're working on some buildings. They move over to get to work on the start working on the barracks. Queen's going to take one, maybe two shots to get it. This air targeting expo is not going to target her until it's far too late. So I don't even know if there's a rage or a ability used. Drops the rage directly on the queen so that way she can power through the inferno a bit faster. Finally, the ex the healers get up in there and assist. These archers are doing a lot of work before they eat a mortar. <coughs> so mortar does it's the one thing it's good at, and that's kill archers. Queen gets up, steps into the uh, CC range. Double poison's already down for everybody. And a couple of miners are coming in. And watch these guys right here. We'll keep that highlighted. The rest of them are coming at 9 o'clock. But here we go. They finish that storage. And, oh, that's what happened to my miners right there. But I end up sweeping all the way through to about here with just my CC miners. with For like an 86% fresh hit. So, definitely a beastly attack. Queen is stepping up. She will take out the expo that is pestering his miners and then walk up to start working on the Inferno te or the Teslas. Getting rid of, knocking down the CC so they're not dealing with uh, Teslas too much during this. Keen, in the meantime, has broken in up top, took out an entire section, and he will perish there. However, that's a lot less distraction for miners. Bunch of them decide to go in and get the skeleton trap, and then they're going to work on these storages. Heels should be coming down for them. And then they're going to knock down this Inferno Tower with two or three swings. So, we'll just speed it up because that is it. Queen finally went down, but she took out a good portion of the base by herself. Huge raid for, for uh, Batman. No bowlers at all. All right, so this is going to take us into the Town Hall 9 action. Ooh, I wonder if this is the best attack of the war. Let's watch <coughs> Ellie in action. And this is, you will like this. So there we go. We got some minions coming down to start getting rid of some trash. There's a ton of free stuff over here. But let's take a look. We got one quake. We have two more quakes. We have a fourth quake, and we break one wall open between here. So that is something that comes with quite a bit of practice. Ellie's pretty smart to think of this. Meanwhile, Keenan Bowlers, Keenan's going to walk, and actually they're all going to walk. They're just going to start doing some funneling, go get an air defense. And once that air defense comes down, there should be some dragons so Hog gets on the one air defense, actually knocks it down, or weakens it for the queen. And she's got access to two air defenses in this line. So the dragons come down, they're funneled, so they should be going direct to the queen. 
rages down for the friendly queen who attacks the expo, dealing with a sweeper, which is a nuisance. She's still got an archer tower and another sweeper on her. You know, both air defenses are still standing, but she goes, takes the first one down. Meanwhile, dragons are handling the CC. The Valkyries that run after the cane are met with dragon fire. And actually, they go finish off the bowlers. That works so that they leave the queen alone. Queen trips a double, still dealing with that the, uh, sweeper. But uh, let's just speed it up to times two because this is a slow moving attack. Two balloons still in the bag. Queen is going to go over and get the air sweeper and the uh, <coughs> storage. Rage down, back end loons, finishes it off the Tesla farm. And that is one gorgeous raid in the books. Nice raid to Ellie. I've seen her practicing that uh, quake thing in the FCs. Nice scout. We had Logan Dips to free up some scouts. Damio, let's see what he does. <coughs> and this is a Queen Walk hobo, it looks like. We'll just we'll just times two this because uh, my voice is starting to get a little raspy. I want to try to do a few more attacks, so I might not talk as much. Good thing for you guys, I guess. I don't know how gorgeous my voice sounds to you guys, but today it's awful. On a normal basis, I don't know if you like it either, but you're stuck with me, so. There we go, we got the bowlers, Kane, everybody coming in, wizards to flank on the outside, keep everybody moving in. There's no reason for them to stray because there is a lot of funneling already done. Kane decides he does want to break a wall, though, because it, it wouldn't be the Kane if he doesn't. Bowlers still want to break the wall, and they're gonna. Oh, no, no, one of them still wants to break a wall, and he turns around back to, god damn it, this, this AI. <coughs> okay, so there we go, we got giant, we got some hogs coming in. This must have been fresh because, uh... He's being patient with those hogs there. And uh, let them hit the spring. There's still he's just sprinkling in hogs. He's not trying to overwhelm anything. Just things fall. And as his hogs start running out, he adds a few more. And that's just a triple there. Good raid, Damio. Let's see here. We got Nick, we got AW. We saw AW up top. Let's watch Lord of the Skies. This is another nifty raid, I believe. I think this one took a, absorbed a few hits, too. Sorry for showing your base, man. It was a good one. <coughs> but uh, this chamber is what really screwed a lot of people up. These anti-pathing bases can really mess you up. Uh, throws a rage down. And we have Queen on King. Queen should go up and maybe take out both air defenses. I don't know if that one's in range for her or not. Be pretty nifty if it was because a uh, healer's kind of. Oh, he's got extra healers too, maybe. Unless there's only two on the Queen. No, it looks like there's more than two health bars there. Bowlers come up, take that air defense before they can shoot at the healers. Queen's going to turn around and get the other one before too many healers go down to it. Pops up to take the Tesla, which uh, probably was what drew everybody off earlier. But there we go. We got bowlers down. We got Golemites tanking. We have a uh, poison on the queen. Bowlers are chipping their way through. And the king's buddies are all taking shots, so he is going to try to break the wall to go get the queen. Still has a rage and a poison, a rage and a heal in the bag. We're going to speed it up. Like I said, I'm getting a little sore here. Queen's finally dealing with the CC. So, under rage and, he or rage and Poison. Heal down for the Hogs, who just had a straight line to run. So this was a gorgeous raid. Just put the Queen on autopilot and go. Lord of the BBZ. Ooh, could be a Bolalo. Golem is down. Baby dragons are doing some funneling. Second golem is down. So we have some wall breakers. 
and they're going to have a clear shot at two air defenses. Looks like a couple Teslas and probably both sweepers. Maybe could even get a third air defense here too. Rage is down for the CC. Rocks are coming in. They're going to hit the queen, crush her, and go get the expo. So they're actually all walking up in the corner. I don't think they're going to overachieve too much here. Meanwhile, loons are already coming in. He decides to put a hound on both uh, air defenses and just swarm the base. We had a red bomb go off, take away all the pups. I hate when that happens. But there we go. Final hound is in, and the hound is going to pop barely. Let's the let's the pups out. Heal down for the expo and the wizard tower, and that is just a hell of a raid there. Nicely planned everything. That's how we work. I just bolalo and fly by the seat of my pants. So, <laughs> but it's a powerful attack. Let's see here. We'll do Russo and Kevin. We're almost to the end here. We might show our buddies. Who knows? Maybe I'll go back up and show Nyx, because I noticed I skipped over him. We're going to 2x this one. Looks like another Queen Wonk uh, hobo. Shattered hobo. So, <coughs> Queen gets the lure all by herself. Under rage. A hit. Popped the ability after she didn't need to. Probably could have been fine, but again, she may not have been healed up to deal with that Queen. Baby Dragon coming down to help funnel. And also tank, so that she's not taking much more Archer Fire. Not that it's going to matter now. But, uh, you know, that's the thing with these mini little uh, Queen Chambers. He could have probably pented this base if he wanted to. That's a little attack we've been seeing lately. Uh, watching clans like Semper and Victa, how they handle nines. They, those guys can't afford to fail on nines. It's a great resource to have to see nine versus nine and how you safely hit these bases fresh or else they have an 11 go dip. So, Hogs all coming into the Tesla farm. And they're just going to sweep their way through. Hit a bomb. And actually they have the cane and skeletons on them. Drops a poison to kill off the skeletons. Hogs are going to keep running away from the cane. Now they're going to go back and go hit the DE storage. But then they'll turn on the cane. Nope. Most of them will. Some of them will. There we go. And that is finishing that off. Alright. Um, two more? Three more? Maybe? What is this? This is Kevin. The leader of backwards. Stone Hobo. We'll watch 2X. Again, one of those bases that's supposed to mess with your pathing. In fact, both golems decide they're going to go to the cannon. But they're also in range of all those defenses that the wizards can all freely target and assist in getting funneled. So, no wall breakers needed. Drops the rage for the bowlers when they're in the thick of everything. You know, this may have been a... Fr I think this was a fresh... I think, I think Kevin got a fresh six-pack. So we're only going to show one of his uh, hits here. Sorry, man. But uh, there we go. Hogs are finishing up. No danger for bombs left, so we are going to 2x this stuff. Actually, there's one bomb that they hit. But so many hogs left. Everybody's already sweeping through for cleanup. Oh, there's another bomb. May have been a double there. Yeah, there it is. There's the double. We found it. Alright, so let's see who else is here. Yeah, we are rich Kevin. Let's watch Emmett. <laughs> Emmett from Fury. Archer's down on the corner. Huts. Golem's coming in. This is a stoned hobo. Wizard comes up to try to, or Hog comes up to try to get a freebie. But there's a Tesla behind it, so he won't get it. Golem's all in, Bowler's in. Golem's hit, Bowler's hit, uh, Golem hits the bomb. Hog's coming in to attack tanked defenses. They eat a double. So, fortunately, they only lost one Bowler. There we go, we got the Hogs coming in. Just being sprinkled. He's only actually only got one left, so this is all going to be the kill squad finishing this off, aside from this pair of hogs over here. And probably drop the last hog in. Looks like he's got an arch sharp, but skeleton's tripped. 
<coughs> so bar two barely alive hogs help finish this base off. And this, I think this one was fresh too, so we had a pretty good fresh showing this war. But there you go. That is it. Actually, let's show Nick's because I skipped over him and I noticed it. We'll just pop him open up in the more details and we'll show him. I don't think I've showed Nick in a while. If I have, then I doubt you're sick of him lately. So, there we go. Baby Dragon getting a... Uh, I don't know if there's a hut there or what. Maybe a Tesla. No, it looks like there's a hut. He's doing a queen walk. Cold-blooded hobo, it looks like. So, Baby Dragon down a funnel. Freebie defenses, which is always cool. Goes up to get the air defense, too. There we go. Nice nice little uh, scout there for the hogs. I don't know how I don't know if this was fresh or not, but we got one hog coming in, he's gonna be eating some uh wizard fire, but mortar doesn't stand up to him. Poison down for the minions, Queen is under rage. The Golem and Baby Dragon are down to funnel and they are probably going to jump right in this corner. Yep. Baby Dragon does a nice amount of work, get a gets a good funnel established. <laughs> Queen is coming up on a Tesla farm and the heroes and she takes everything out under rage one at a time before everything starts really working on her hard and there's just a thick spot of nothing but defenses there in the middle so the hogs just come swarming in and he even saves a few in the bag to help with cleanup so very effective raid good job Nick and that will do it for today um don't know if I'm going to record any of the other clans. Uh, I don't know what Fury did, but I know uh, Backwards had a war, a far more that we damn near perfected. So we'll see how I feel tomorrow if I get it. But I know right now they got a tough one. Elite has a far more, and I don't know what Fury's got again. Maybe I'll do emphatic trials where we get our level 10 badge. That'd be kind of fun. See some Town Hall 8 raids on the channel. That could be nifty. Either way. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go take something for this throat. Peace.